Welcome to Time News. Today we will be discussing the latest developments in the longevity industry over the past week. In this episode, we will have a total of 11 news pieces to share with you. First, let's get started with famous Nature magazine. In Nature, research found that a process called minority mitochondria outer membrane permeabilization occurs in the subset of mitochondria. This leads to the release of mitochondrial DNA into the cytosol activating an inflammatory pathway. Inhibiting MIMOMP can reduce inflammation and improve health in aging mice, which is done by Mayo Clinic. And how can calorie restriction affect your muscle? Scientists from National Institute of Health USA looked at the effect of calorie restriction on muscle health in humans. Calorie restriction positively influenced genes related to muscle quality, including those governing circadian rhythms, DNA repair, and inflammation. So even moderate CR can benefit your muscles, and the details are in an aging cell. In terms of iron and aging, a study in clinical epigenetics explored the link between iron levels and epigenetic aging clocks, which can predict aging-related health outcomes. They found that higher serum iron was causally associated with accelerated epigenetic aging. However, the evidence is not strongly supported and further research is needed. This is done by Sichuan University. In the Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health, study found that living in privately rented homes can speed up biological aging, even more than unemployment or smoking. Historical housing problems like arise and pollution exposure also affects aging. Housing policy changes can improve health by reversing this effect. Next is about kidney treatment and aging. The study in the Journal of Internal Medicine examined how kidney disease treatments, dialysis and transplantation affects the accelerated aging in patients. By analyzing epigenetic clocks, they found that kidney transplantation reduced the aging effect but dialysis did not. Scientists from Mayo Clinics show that specific biomarkers linked to cellular senescence can predict the risk of death in older adults. Combining these biomarkers with other factors improve the accuracy of predicting mortality, and the details are in aging cell. In Aging US, a study found that a protein called BMAL1, which is part of the body's internal clock, plays a role in aging cells. It is more active in older cells and affects how they function. BMAL1 helps control the genes, influencing their behaviors, especially in terms of survival and resistance to certain treatments. This discovery shed lights on the connection between our circadian clock and aging. Researchers from Chinese Academy of Sciences discover that activating the SOX5 gene can counteract cellular senescence. This rejuvenates HMGB2. Using gene therapy with SOX5 or HMGB2, they successfully reverse age-related cartilage degeneration and reduce osteoarthritis in mice, offering a potential treatment for age-related diseases, and the study is published in Cell Stem Cell. What about nerve regeneration? A study in mice found that blocking the action of an enzyme called 15-GPDH can enhance muscle recovery after nerve injuries. This enzyme is linked to aging, and inhibiting it promotes nerve generation and muscle function. The findings suggest that inhibiting 15-PGDH could be a potential therapy for improving recovery after nerve damage from injury, aging, or disease. And the study is in Science Translational Medicine, done by the Stanford University School of Medicine. Next is about a new statement challenging traditional experimental settings. Scientists from National University Singapore proposed that when studying the effects of interventions on mouse lifespans, it is important to consider the lifespan of the control group. Short-lived control groups can make interventions seem more effective than they are to increase confidence in an intervention efficacy. It is important to compare the treated group's lifespan to a species-specific upper limit, which is around 900 days for mice. Finally, is a new database from Chinese scientists, which is released in the Journal of Biological Databases and Curation. Aging REG is a curated database that collects information on factors influencing aging. It includes details on genes, external factors and pathways involved in aging and how they affect genes. 
This resource covers various diseases, cell types, and tissues, and is valuable for aging research. And that is all. Thank you for joining us on this week's Time News. We hope you found these updates informative and inspiring. We'll see you in next week's broadcast. Wishing you a happy and long life.